Hey, it's Mike here from Michael S. Bell Fine Art. I am going to shoot a video because I'm going to try this. I learned this on Jason Morgan um, through his Patreon channel. I don't know if it was a free one or how that works. Um, I'll say that I don't own the music that's playing in the background. I'll turn that down. I had to listen to a little Bon Jovi. But I'm having problems getting a real white right here. Um, the wolf I'm working on has some pretty defined white. So what I want to do is I have, if you can see this, I have some pan pastels. And I saw Jason do this and I thought this was really interesting. So all I'm going to do is just pick up some white. Just kind of scrub it around a little bit so I can get some. And then, whoops. I'm just going to put some of this in a little teeny container. This is just a lid that I had. So I thought I would give this a try. Probably not a great idea to do this right over the background. So I have a little bit of uh, Grumbacher odorless thinner. So I thought I would pick up just a little bit, like he does. And I don't know if this is even going to work, because I've never done this before. So here's hoping I don't ruin this piece. But I just picked up a little bit, and almost made like a paint out of it. Now this is the Pan Pastel White. And I put just a little bit in there, and the thinner, all I put in was just whatever the brush would have. So let me turn this down just a little more. There we go. So, as you can see, I almost have like a white paint. So let's see. You can do this with me. Watch with me. Watch me either succeed or fail, one or the other. <laughs> I might fail miserably. So, let's give this a try and see what happens. All right. Doesn't look like it's really doing anything at all. Maybe I just don't have enough white. So what I'll do is use the back of the, and just kind of scrub some of that up. Put this in there. Maybe I just didn't have enough. I don't know, but it was worth a try. I saw him do it, so I thought I would give it a try. His works, so I don't know if maybe mine just, maybe I'm using the wrong thinner. I don't know. That looks like a real mess. Got big chunks. Big chunks in there. So I'll pick up just a little bit more of thinner. Maybe this is a, you have to get the right, maybe you have to get the absolute right consistency. I don't know. But mix this all up. It's not working. It looks almost like a concrete paste now. Not exactly what I was going for, as you can see. It's dried right up. So I'll put a little more thinner in there. There we go. We got kind of like a, almost looks like paint. Maybe you have to work with it really quick. I should be trying this. Don't try this on a piece that you're really, you know, worked really hard on. I've, I got to one area and I thought, well, you know what? I'd like to get some white on here, some really bright white. So I thought I would give this a try. And I, I know how to do it. I have, I can use a, um, one of my, or my X-Acto knife and kind of scrape out some of the white because I'm on white paper. But I just thought I'd give this a try. So pick up just a little bit of it. And it does work, although I can't get a very fine line with it like I can with a sharpened pencil, pastel pencil. So I think I'm going to put this on hold. I'm going to try this on some some other. As you can see, it's it's almost it's dried up. It's almost like a paste. So as you can see right here, it didn't really do much for me. I'm going to give this a try or go back to Jason's. Um, Patreon channel and see if I can figure out how he's doing it with the pan pastels. 
So anyways, I thought I'd give that a try and miserable fail. And I will go back to what I have been doing, which is basically either a pit pastel or I have been using a Carbothello Stabilo pencil. As you can see, the this is all dry already, so I can just tap it and pick some of that up. I can go back and fix that. It's not a big deal. So either a Pit Pastel. And as you can see, Pit doesn't really... I mean, it it's a very seems like a pretty soft pastel. So I may have to go back and darken that up a little bit in that area based on my reference photo. And all I'm doing is little teeny dots. All kinds of random in the muzzle area here. Just kind of tone those down a little bit so they don't stand out too much. And I got a really sharp point on my Stabilo and I got that using my um, colored pencil sharpener. It's a boss stitch that I bought at Walmart for like, I don't know, $14. And it gets super, super sharp points, even on these. Um, on the Pit Pastels and the Stabilos, they excellent point on them. So all I do now is I'm just going back and just adding in the whites where I want them. As you can see, it's not... I have quite a bit of pastel on here, and the tooth is it's still there, but it's not like I wanted it to be. So you can do little teeny, teeny marks, which is time consuming, but I'm trying to work the muzzle of this wolf, which has very fine hairs. So all I'm doing is going back and forth just to get the representation of that hair. <sighs> or another trick you can do is if you want to get just take my X-Acto knife. There's another knife that I'm going to buy um, that I haven't ordered yet. I'll order it today or tomorrow. But it's actually a ceramic edge. This one has a super sharp tip on it. So you have to be really careful that you don't damage the paper. We can very easily just kind of pull some of the color out. Take that pastel right off of there. And as you can see, it's hard to see, is that it leaves little marks. Here, I'll do it on a place where you can actually see it. As you can see, it actually pulls the pastel up. But I like the white. I'm going to have to try and figure out some kind of trick to get a lot brighter white. Or I'm just going to have to go with this rough painted look, which is fine. I mean, pastels, this isn't colored pencils like, you know, your polychromos where you can get super sharp tip and super fine detail. Uh, pastels aren't like that so anyways i thought i would share and it turned out as a massive failure which i can fix so until next time this is mike from michael s bell fine art have a great day